Hello, a student told me the other day about a problem with his science lab partners. One student called the other lazy for not doing their part of the project and threatened to tell the teacher. The other boy yelled back that he's not lazy and just didn't understand his part of the project. He stomped away from the group and refused to work with the group anymore. Have you ever experienced a conflict like that? Building friendships and working in groups is a process and there are often a few bumps along the way. In this story you just heard, the boy who was called lazy chose to end this conflict by walking away. But the conflict wasn't really resolved. Conflicts are a natural part of life, so it's important to know how to manage them. Here are a few steps to managing conflicts in a positive way. First, stop. Don't let things get out of control. Take a step back and try to calm down, since anger makes conflicts more difficult to resolve. Then, say what the conflict is about. Make sure you both have a clear understanding of what is causing the disagreement and clarify what each of you wants or doesn't want. Next, work together to think of positive options. What's a fair solution that meets both of your needs? Finally, choose a positive option that each of you can agree on. If you still can't agree, it may be time to ask a trusted adult for help. I hope you have a great week and remember, practice managing conflicts in a positive way.